Uh, I read this morning that uh, I saw last night that they were that they were looking for that they were doing volunteer signups, and then this morning I saw a uh, uh, thing on one of the news websites that they were in. This morning we're in a desperate need for volunteers, so I uh, got my wife and we sent out some text messages to come on down here and help out. So far, we've gone through basically step one and two, which is just to come down here and uh, kind of sign in. So then they just scheduled us for our orientation. Or you can, they get you here, then you can do the application and uh, background check information here, and then they're scheduled for your orientation. And then after that, they'll do, um, they'll do like an interview or um, kind of sit down with somebody and say, you know, okay, these are what we have open. What do you want to do? You know, to kind of fit what would be the best positions to fit for what you want to do. Um, we're, uh, I suppose. We're pretty big volunteers. I've actually never volunteered before, but Red Cross helped me out because I actually lived in New Orleans at the time I could treat them. So, you know, giving back a little bit for the help that they gave me. Well, I, uh, I uh, came to volunteer for the Red Cross yesterday, and they put me to work right here at the Volunteer Resource Center. So my job okay. is to help um, start people in the volunteer process. We've had a tremendous turnout. I think the city of Austin, um, we put out the call for volunteers, and they really responded really well. Um, we've been overwhelmed, in fact, here at the Volunteer Resource Center, which is a terrific problem to have. Um, essentially, we hired a 1,000 volunteers in a day. So if you can imagine how much work goes into doing all of that, you can imagine the logistical challenge that the folks here are rising to the challenge of. Um, so we've, we've put everybody through the process, everybody's been through orientation, and we got everybody out to all the shelters.